please tell me if I'm wrong, but I've consulted three whole people on this and they all told me that I was right for leaving. I was supposed to go on a Starbucks date. This is what I was getting. I don't drink coffee. Anyway, we met on the apps and I'm back on the apps, unfortunately. And this guy, adore, very attractive. Um, he says he likes to do instant dates. So since it's Bumble, I have to message him first. So I was like, what is an instant date? And he goes, let's meet tomorrow. This was Tuesday. I was working. So we were, we were going to meet today. I get there like 10 minutes early. I'm chilling in my car and I see what I think is him pull up like across from me and he doesn't move. So I go to the Bumble and he messaged me and he's like, are you here? And I was like, yeah, I'm chilling in my car and I wave through my windshield at him he's looking at me and I wave and he doesn't wave back he gets out of his car starts walking towards the Starbucks like past my car he has to pass my car to get to the door and so I'm getting out of my car because he didn't stop at my car or anything and so I'm getting out to go say like hello or and stuff and he like closed the door in my face <laughs> So then he's already sitting down, he's sitting down like when I get inside Starbucks, right? And like I wave there also like while he's sitting down and he just kind of looks at me funny and then I'm like, well, maybe this is the wrong person, right? So I go to line, go to the line and I'm ordering my drink <laughs> and I, while, I'm on my, while I'm ordering my drink, I'm on Bumble like trying to see if this is the right person. So I'm looking at him and I look at him and it's it's him it's him so <laughs> he doesn't come up over to me at all in the line either and then I'm waiting for my drink he doesn't come over there while I'm waiting for my drink and at that point I've been in the Starbucks because they were busy for like 10 minutes and with nothing silence like I've tried to talk to you twice you shut a door in my face and then you didn't speak to me. You're already sitting down. Like you didn't come up to me or anything. So I get my drink and I walk past him. I walk past him. I go to my car. I get in my car. I go to talk. I go to Bumble so I could be like, that was fucking rude. Like you wasted my time. And he was like, well, you have a good day too. What? I don't think I'm wrong for leaving. Let me know. Cause I feel like my, I have like crazy high standards, but like that was like the bare minimum and you failed, right? Okay, thanks. Ladies, this is to show you that you can catfish too. Do guys just catfish girls? No. Girls catfish as well. Sorry, I can't. I was talking to somebody over there. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Sorry, bro. Okay, we like hugs. He flexed on you, eh? So, I think you're very attractive. Thank you. <laughs> and I want you to ask you if you're single. I am single. You are single? Yes. Why is that? Yeah, why? Uh, because I'm just focusing on work right now. So you wouldn't have time to put a lady in your life? Uh, not the way I would want to. What's that way? What's the way you want to? Uh, I would want to be able to make her a priority. I don't think I can do that right now. So you're not scared of like missing out on the right girl? Let's say you meet me today and you think I'm the right girl and you're not going to talk to me because you don't have really a lot of time like to meet me. So you're not going to talk to me at all? Well, if you're the right girl, but I treat you wrong because I don't necessarily have the time to devote to you that I wanted to, <laughs> then I don't think I would do either of us a good service. That sounds really good. Usually guys are not like that. They, they kind of lie and they kind of act like, oh no, I have time for you. And then once they get what they want, they just kind of like disappear. Yeah, not that nah, time. yeah. I just wouldn't get involved. I don't think I'll be able to. How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah, okay. 
you have kids? Nope. You want kids? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay, that's, that sounds good. So what do you do that makes you feel like you're too busy to be in a committed relationship that you don't want to be in? Uh, I'm just in transition right now. Okay. So I uh, graduated from grad school last year. Got a job in the field I went to school for, okay. but it's not necessarily enough to feel that, and it's not necessarily paying me what I would hope okay. for it to. Uh, so I made enough connections in that industry to be able to like keep a foot in it while okay. I have a job that can support me like financially as well. Good job for this guy. Holding his ground, wanting to focus on his purpose instead of relationship. Shout out to him. That'll be all for the video, guys. Hope y'all enjoy these guys. Focus on their purpose. Focus on their mission in order to get a better outcome. What say you? You think they're right? Let me know in the comments. 10 likes. 10 likes. I'll see y'all in the next video. Ha! Peace!